Hi everyone, welcome back to my video. I know I've been coming out with videos like literally back to back to back to back, but I just had to make this video one because I love these gel eyeliners by Mel Cosmetics. I mean, these are so pretty. I am wearing this beautiful, the beautiful gold named Estrella. If anyone want to see swatches, I did do swatches in one of my previous videos. So that's Estrella. And then the green, this pretty emerald green color is called Colib Colibri. So gorgeous. And um, uh, if you are into bright colors and you are fond of gel creamish textures on your eyes, this will work. And I'm also looking forward to doing an eye or face look with the pink um, face paint. That's what it's pigment paint called Concha. Oh, this looks so gorgeous. So gorgeous. Also, I wanted to make this video because I had emailed Melt Cosmetics concerning one of the lipsticks out of the lipstick trio that I purchased from them. Um, I forgot the name of that lipstick, but if anyone's seen that video where I tried on the three different lipsticks from their lipstick trio that they newly released with the Emor e Mariposas collection, the last shade, which is like a bright peachy color, did, did, it, it did not look flattering on me whatsoever. So I did email Melt Cosmetics asking them, was there any way for me to maybe just send that one lipstick back as well with the one lip liner that was supposed to be paired with that and then, and maybe get a partial refund or an exchange or something. So they emailed me back, guys, and they said that it's a bit tricky since it is part of a lipstick set, but they offered to send me two different lipsticks of my choice as a replacement so, you know what I chose? Because I am curious to try this. I chose the two glitter lipsticks that's part of the Emor e Mariposas collection. But the two glitter lipsticks was not sold, are not sold individually. They're sold in the PR box. If anyone knows about the PR box, that's on Mel Cosmetics website. It's a hundred, not a hundred, Lord. It's $450, which I wasn't going to get anyway. But so since they gave me that option, I said, okay, let me ask for those two glitter lipsticks because I'm very curious to see how it is. So the name of those lipsticks, I wrote it down because I, I know I'm not going to remember. One of them is called Emore Eternal. And the other one, I'm going to try my best, but it's called Enovold, 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 Able. I'll put it up. <laughs> so that's the name. And so I am looking forward to getting that. And once I get that, I definitely will be checking out and see if they are flattering on my skin tone. So I wanted to bring this to your attention. I'm really excited about that. And this lets me know that Mel Cosmetics have a pretty good customer service. Thank you so much, Mel Cosmetics. Another thing I want to mention is I know it's the holiday season, and I know for myself, I've been trying my best to be a tad bit more economical in my spending when it comes to makeup, but it is so tempting when some of these brands come out with products that you feel a tad bit irresistible in terms of purchasing. Victoria Beckham has released two new lid lusters, and I already mentioned in my last video when I just did a review um, well, a look with her sea gray eyeliner. And I did mention that video. I do like her eyeliners and her lid lusters. Turns out she came out with two new additional lid luster colors. One of them is called Chaffron. Chaffron. Another one is called Mera. Now, Chaffron is supposed to be like a champagne color with gold multicolor reflex. And then Mera is supposed to be just like a true silver. When I look at Mera, it just, it appears a tad bit closer to the sea gray eyeliner. But I do want both. I want both of them. They both look so pretty. But I don't think I want the champ the Chaffron, the champagne with gold. Um... I, I think I more so want the Mera, the Mera lid luster, um, which is a true silver. I think I want that one more. I don't know, but I, I know I want either one of them or both of them. <laughs> so 
if if anyone knows about that th those two lid luster releases by Victoria Beckham, what are your thoughts? Are you gonna get are you gonna get it? Are you interested in any of her lid lusters? I find them very pretty. Um, and I have just about all well, with the exception of these two that was just released, I have just about all the lid lusters except for blonde, which is a very bright whitish white looking uh, shimmer, which I don't care to have that on my eyes. But I have all the other shades. I have mink, tea rose, honey, um, onyx, midnight. I have, like I said, I have just about all of them except for blonde and except for these two most recent releases. So, um, I'm just curious, are you, what, um, are you guys interested in any of those new lid lusters by Victoria Beckham? Did any, I know some of you bought some of the products from the most recent Melt Cosmetics collection from the Emore Emariposas collection. Did anyone else buy any other products from that collection within Melt Cosmetics? Did anyone purchase the, um, I know some of you also purchased the Natasha Denona Face Glam pa Palette. If anyone has not bought it, did you buy it? Were you considering on getting it? Um, what else? Anything new that was released as well? I know Tarte released a new, a larger size palette. I'm not particularly interested in it because I never really was fond of Tarte's palette. I've tried the smaller size palette of Tarte and it just didn't work for me. But anyone out there, are you, in, do you like Tarte? And were, what are your thoughts about this n newest palette that Tarte released? It's this big palette. I forgot the name of it. Um, are you going to get it? And do you feel Tarte comes out with good quality palettes? Um, and anything else? Oh yeah, if anyone is not aware, Pat McGrath, um, they having a big Black Friday, pre-Black Friday sale on their website. And it's, I think it's like 25% off if you spend a certain amount, 30% off if you send, spend a certain amount, and I think it's 35% off or 15% off if you spend a certain amount, which is pretty good because if anyone's familiar with Pat McGrath products, they tend to be a bit cost, costly. So um, did anyone buy anything from Pat McGrath website during this pre-Black Friday sale that she has going on? And um, I'm just curious, like, what do you, what did you guys buy so far during this upcoming holiday season within this month of November? And do you plan on getting any other new releases? If so, tell me about it, because I don't know everything. Share, um, I would be more than glad for anyone out there to share about any upcoming makeup releases from any particular brand. I'll definitely look into it. And um, yeah, so let me get going, because I have to get my son to ready to bed and but I wanted to make a quick video to first encourage you guys to consider these two gel eyeliners by Mel Cosmetics if you are into that kind of product or cons uh, formula consistency and also to let you guys know about the two new lid lusters by Victoria Beckham that was released and I'm feeling very tempted to get it uh I'm, I'm not gonna get it this week but it's very tempting and I wanted to know what did you guys buy, and um, and if you any of you know about any other new releases that's gonna be coming out, and if so, please share. All right, guys, so I'm gonna get going. So I hope you all have a good evening and enjoy the rest of your night. Bye. <laughs>